Hi everyone, this is Jennifer and I'm back today with a new layout for the HipKit Club design team. I'm starting to cut with my Silhouette Cameo, this exclusive June 2021 floral frame cut file in 12 by 12 watercolor paper. I resized the cut file to 6 by 6 inch so I was able to cut 4 copies at one time. I will use this cut file as a background element. For those who know me well, you know that I love using this technique. I cut the patterns to keep only the grade pattern and I cut them back to have this joined and understructured chips. I really like to use cut files as by integrating them in the background, it brings texture and volume. I continue and I cut a white cardstock with clear gesso. When it's completely dry, I glue the pieces of grade directly on the page. You have to apply the glue everywhere so that the pattern is well glued. It's important if you add ink like me afterwards. My layout will be vertical. I glue the pattern randomly without trying to make something perfect. Precisely, this is the goal of having something destructured here. Uh, so, um, if you don't have a cutting machine, you can do this with dies. Um, for my parts, I prefer to use this technique with very fine patterns. The rendering is prettier visually. Here is the result, a background with texture, patterns and volume. So, I apply clear gesso with a large brush making circular movements on the patterns to spread the primer well and prepare the patterns in inks. I then add the inks. I uh, start with the Lindy's Magical Mad Hatter ink, which I apply in the center from top to bottom with the help of a piece of rhodoid. I add a little water and I widen the area with my wet brush. Then um, I add the Lindy's Magical Frosty Forest Green ink on top and with my wet brush I mix the ink. I add water to make the inks mix and then add um, Chimers Vibes mustard seed ink here and there. And with my wet brush I widen the areas and bled the inks. I blur the edges with absorbent paper and a little water 
and I add more ink to intensify the colors. I dry everything well and stop here for now. I will rectify the ink areas after adding some embellishments. I dispose the photos. I choose several black and white photos that I cut in circles of different sizes that I lay out vertically. I cut the designs of the two cards in the round which come from the June 2021 Pocket Life Kit and I add them to my disposal. I then add small lemons that I cut from the uh, Lemon Parfait pattern paper from the exclusive delightful collection by Kim and Kimberly from the June 2021 main kit. This pattern paper is just gorgeous and I absolutely had to use these little lemons. So I have several lemons all over the place. I'm making several clusters of lemons here and there. Okay, um, I'm fine something is missing, some leaves are missing, uh, so I cut out several leaves from Pink Fresh Studios floral die cuts from the June 2021 embellishment kit. I then arrange the leaves here and there and it's already much better. I then prepare the photos. I send the edges of each photo with sandpaper to have white and edge edges. When all the photos are ready, I add crumpled tracing paper underneath glued with adhesive tape. So there are photos that celebrate of 15 years of living together with my husband. We are celebrating our meeting and it was last year in May in full quarantine. We were not able to party but we still celebrated this day with family, with our children and I think it was even better and so much more symbolic for us. We did a little photo shoot with a 3D numbers that I had created and decorated um, and we had a great meal. The children made us the desserts. A just perfect day with his so the theme of the layouts this week is celebrate so this was an opportunity to use these photos i then add 3d foam under the photos it will add volume
Eisen glue the photos in their place by uh, putting the largest in the center, then the averages uh, on each side, and finally the smallest at the ends. I glue the circle, squeeze the day. I love this coat, perfect for the decoration. Then, before gluing the lemons, I distress the edges of each of them and I decide to double some lemon to bring even more value. So I sew two lemons on top of each other in the center so that I can then fold the top one in half uh, and thus give a funny dimension effect. I love this simple effect. I put each lemon back in place and glue them. So I add and I glue the leaves which are really essentials here and there and now I can rectify the areas to darken the colors near the lemons and the photos and by degrading the colors outward. I add green ink in several places and I add this ink on the leaves to bring shine. I add yellow ink in several places too and I also add ink on some lemon to add shine. For this I use the Nouveau Lemon Sorbet Mousse from the June 2021 color kit. I also add this mousse all over the place 
to accentuate the shine of the yellow ink and I widen the areas of ink. I like to do the background in several steps. I find it uh, simpler and more uh, precise and it allows uh, to make color gradients that I like to do. I love the fact of having darker colors near the photos and decorative elements that allows them to stand out more and make them stand out visually. This step is quick long but we can clearly see the change it brings. I love that. So I continue my layout and I add the title. I'm using the Puffy alphabet from the June 2021 kits. And I create the phrase, you are my main squeeze. Not very original, but perfect to match the decoration. These alphabets are awesome and match up really well. And don't worry, I corrected my spelling mistake for the word main before taking the pictures. I add clear stickers from the June 2021 Pocket Life kit near the title and the black leaves here and there. And I add leaves, lemon and butterfly in vellum from the embellishment kit. So I then glue the title. This step is always a bit long but essential. I really like splitting the title in half or adding uh, multiple words as I don't add journaling. I need to add multiple words to describe uh, and tell the story of my pages. 
I really like the clear stickers which gives the illusion of a stamp. I add a little more green ink at the bottom of my page and on some lemons just to give a not very ripe effect. I add more clear sticker sleeves and I glue the butterflies. I add the splashes of gesso diluted with a little water to harmonize everything and bring light. I add clear drops uh, with the glossy accents. I like this drop of water effect that it will create. I apply the glossy accents on the lemons and all over the place. I finish with splashes of black inks to bring contrast and a little pep.
I hope this page has inspired you for a future project. I love creating this layout and immersing myself in this very special memory. Don't hesitate to ask me questions. Thanks for stopping by and watching. I wish you a day full of creativity. See you soon. Thank you.